Hello and welcome. I am the Sterling and today we'll be playing Anno 1800. For this series, I'll be running with a few mods from the Spice It Up mod list, mostly for the cosmetic reasons to beautify our cities a little more. Now, I can't stress enough, I'm not necessarily setting out for us to win this match. That's not what this series is about. Well, we have lots to do, so sit back, grab a cold one, and let's get started. As you can see, our flagship is on its way to the region of Cape Trelawney. One of the mods I'm using opens up all the regions from the beginning of the game. Cape Trelawney has a large island at the very top of the map. The plan is to build a beautiful metropolis there and not have any production on the island itself, but instead have the smaller islands around it feed the metropolis the resources it needs. Well, that's the plan anyway. So, sit back and I'll see if I can find us an island in the new world. And what do we have behind island number one? Okay, so we got a couple of clay, clay deposits, an iron deposit, three iron deposits, three coal deposits, and seven oil. Now that's a reasonably good island. We're lacking limestone. Hmm. We might find something better, so moving on. Island number two. Well, this one has limestone and copper, coal, iron, and clay. But no oil. That's a shame. Okay, moving on to the next island. The last island, we have three clay, two iron, one coal, one limestone, and quite a bit of oil. We don't have any copper, but that's a good abundance of resources we can use for our first settlement. So think we've found our new home. So I'll plot it here. Coordinates plotted. Your city has grown more fantastic. New orders. So now we have to plan out how we're going to do the city itself. The residential area here, I don't necessarily want it to go too high over worker. That's more for the main metropolis. This will just be for the working man. So I'll plan that out and I'll be back in a moment. So I've just built this here. You've got your iron over here, which will come in handy later on. We'll need that to be able to build on the new island because we need timber and island uh, iron over here where the oil is this is no doubt where i'm going to be building my industrial area because of the oil itself uh, later on we will be able to use oil to create electricity which will make our industrial more efficient so i'll be wanting the industrial over here this little section here isn't quite big enough to be building the residential area. We could squeeze it in there, but I'm thinking we might run it off here. So we'll run to about here. Run it on. That way it leads to the industrial area over here and we can build our residential off that corner. Then we can fill all these gaps in here with the farmland because we'll be able to push it up against the rocks and such. And we're out of the way of the clay. So it all works out quite nice. Bit our first milestone. Just laying down the first homes. Every rose has its thorns. Next, 
We'll need to build a lumber mill. So we'll build it out here. It'll need to be moved once we start steel production because this is where the coal will need to be. But for the moment, it's nice and far out the way. And put... So there we go. We have a lumber mill. A lumberjack, sorry. We have our saw mill. And then we have the small warehouse. Now for the residential, we will need to have a marketplace. So I will start building out the design for this and then I can lay our marketplace. I'll do the design in the blueprint so I can just sort of get the plans down. Now I'm going to be putting down our marketplace. So I'll flip this around. So enough blueprint mode, and then I'll just plop that right there. Bang. Uh, add the roads. So the residents all needs, all have certain needs, and one of their needs is the marketplace, obviously. And for the farmers, they will also need clothing and food as the population starts to grow. They also have happiness. So when I give them snaps and a pub, once again their happiness will go up and the population will grow. So the goal for this episode is to get ourselves up to producing the iron, as I said before. But right now I need to concentrate on getting our finances under control. Because as you can see, we are bleeding money and it's slowly going down because we have maintenance costs and ships and such. So we need to get this in order and then we need to start getting ourselves into the green. So I'm slowly one by one going to be building more and more homes and I'll get ourselves a nice little population. Fantastic. That's the first half of the residential area laid out. So we'll continue on. I'm leaving these gaps here for the train lines later on if I decide to add electricity. I'm not 100% sure where I'll have the oil dock, whether I'll have it down here or it might be a more logical idea to have it here. We'll see how it all turns out as we go along. So it's just more planning out. So we'll continue on with the residential area while we build up our timber. As so. Just like that. The farmers now have needs. Their first need off is fish. So we build them a fishery right here. There we go. So now the farmers will start getting fish. Their needs will go up and they'll be happy. More people will move in. The population will get larger. It's the beginning of our nice little settlement. Speaking of which, we should name it. Uh, well, it's south of the main island, so I'm thinking we'll call it... Suddenly. I think, think that's quite fitting. Still just planning out the town settlement. Um, I can build a couple more residents. So we'll pop them in here. Just like so. A competitor raised a settlement. 
I don't want to get too ahead of myself. At the same time, though, I don't want the competitors to get too far ahead. The AI are quite quick. There we go. It's starting to come along. Just have to keep my eye on the needs. It will be soon they'll need clothing and I can start. New milestone. There we go, we're now a village. So now I can start making the work clothes for the villagers. So we'll start off. The sheep farm produces one ton every 30 seconds. So two ton every minute. And that's the same for the knitters. So we just need one and one. So let's build over here. We will start with the farm. What I might do is, oh no, I'll add this here. One, two, and three. Hmm. No, actually, I got a better idea. Just delete that. Place it there. One, two, and three. Then I will need a small warehouse, which I'll place here. And then over here, I'll put the production of the knitters. So over here. Finish off this road down to here. And there we have it. Our first farms are completed. That way, I'll leave this section open for later on when I start building snaps and things like that, so I can push it right up against. In fact, their needs are ready. It is the snaps. So let's start building snaps. Once again, 30 to 30. So we'll build the farm. Put it here. We put our love into it. Perfect. And now for the Distillery. Just flip that around like that. Put the road in. Place the warehouse here, or in fact, place it here. Like so, and done. And we might hold off building the pub for the moment. And there you have it. That's the layout that I'm going to go with on this island for the residential. It's all laid out and ready to go. Now, I'll just as I continue to get timber, I'll just keep adding to it, which is fantastic. So here we go. Got a little bit more timber. Done. I'll throw in the fire station there. There's also going to be one there. That would be a pub. And there will be a marketplace about spinning around. That there. So it's all coming along. With the construction of the last few homes here, that should bring us into the green over here. 
We'll no longer be bleeding money and we'll start be making it. There we go. That's good news for us. That We're on our way now. Now it's just a matter of keeping our eye on the needs and make sure that we don't start making them unhappy. But at the moment, they're very, very happy. In fact, while we're here, we might upgrade the first residence. There we go, we now have workers. So as you can see, the workers have new needs. They're going to straight off the bat want some sausage production. Their happiness needs haven't been unlocked yet, which is a good. Tiny something to keep you going. And fantastic. They've, we've just been given 2,200 coins. Great. Honest work. That's all we ask. That's not all you want. If you have a look, you want bread, you want schools. Nah, you've got plenty of things you a want. Competitor raised a settlement. There you go. The AI is settling more land. They haven't settled any land in this region yet, which is good. We've still got that to ourselves. So hopefully we can get some production going and we can nab ourselves a few islands before any of the AI gets in here so we can have prime real estate. I'm prattling on a bit and not working. So we need to start producing some sausage. Once again, it's one for one. So, we will add the pigs over here. Yep, just there will do us. So, we'll pop that down there. So, this is the pig farm. And we'll rotate that. And we'll add one, two, three. Whoops. i delete that. Silly me. Four and five. There we are. And we'll run a road just to keep it nice and tidy. There we are. And now we need the butchers. The slaughterhouse, sorry. Spin that around. I'm going to need clay to build that. So... What do we need for clay? A clay pit. And two bricks. So we'll add the clay here. Bang. And there's a clay pit over here too. So we might start the industrial area over here because I'll put the clay factory over in the industrial area. So what I'll do is I will put that down like so. And start planning out the area. So we'll run that here. It's and all prepared. Oh, fantastic. Our first newspaper. Hopefully it's a good one. Really entirely marvelous to meet you. New company takes root. Plus five happiness. Anything, actually, happiness and, and light. Our broadsheet. And oh, that's not good. Factory worker shortfall. We'll have to rectify that, but for the minute, we'll publish that. It's important to there be we are. True so to our workforce itself. is low, so we need to upgrade some more buildings. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. We've upgraded the workforce. Scooped us out of the gutter, you did. Needs are still the same, which is good. So we'll just continue building the clay. So what we'll do now, let's move across here. Something along those lines for the minute. And we'll build the four brick factories here. So we'll go one, two, three, and four. And then I will place down a small warehouse for it, which will go Whoops, right there. 
and then I can run this here like so beginning of the industrial area I'll complete it complete that complete that Workforce shortage. And now I need to upgrade some more buildings because of the workforce shortage. Running low on timber. Means a lot to iron. The needs are now st going to start becoming unlevel, so I'll have to keep my eye on that. Add new buildings, new farms and such as I need to. Slowly all coming together though, which is really good. It's looking healthy. We are now 106 in the green. So, that's really, really good. I'm happy with that. This is off to a good start. We've hit a new milestone, Port Town. That means now the workers are going to need bread. And and they're going to need a church. So I'm going to have to organise a church. And we're going to have to organise bread. First, I need to get our workers in order so they can start producing clay. And... The warehouse well, is not in range. So I'm going to need to organise that. What I'll do is I will put that here when I have enough resources. Now it's time to start making the bread chain. So we're going to need two grain fields. Which I'll place one here. And one here. What brings you here, Master? We can start filling in this. Like so. And the next one, lay the fields. There we go. See, it's starting to cut in against the mountain. I love that look. Next, we need a flour mill. So what I might do, just to make it look a bit prettier, is add... In fact, I will put it here. Didn't quite get rid of that. Yeah. So I'll add the flour mill here. Just like that. And then I'll have to replace what I deleted. So I'll add these up here. There we go. So I've replaced what I deleted. And finally we need two bakeries. So what we will have is one bakery here and one bakery here. And now that we've got clay bricks, because their production is all in order, as you can see. I can now finally build our slaughterhouse, and now we're making sausage. Once again, our workforce is down, so we're now going to need to upgrade some more residential to workers. There we go. But I'm always running low on timber, so maybe I should do something about that. So maybe I should start thinking about building the timber elsewhere. So what I might do is, because this here will be where I build all my steel production what I'll do is I'll build this out here and then I will come out 
And I'll build uh, one here. And then one here. There we go. So now I'm producing more of that. More lumber. Put a warehouse. Not a home. Put a warehouse in the middle. And then I'll surround it with two sawmills. One, two, and I can come over here. Oh, well, before I go deleting that, I, maybe I should wait to have the timber to be able to upgrade the warehouse. So I just got to wait. Now I'm just playing the waiting game, slowly sitting here, upgrading the buildings as I get the timber needed. See? So we'll upgrade that one. And now I'll need... So I'm going tat for tat at the moment. So I'll build a, a farming residence so then I can build our farmers back up. And then I build a worker's residence so then I can slowly build our workforce up. It's just playing the waiting game. I'll build another farmer. Oh, I'll build there. And maybe another farmer. Again. Check on it's our, our needs. Right. Looks like our sausage is starting to go down. So I might have to start considering building more sausage. On every street corner in no time. Oh. Fantastic. So let me take oh, no, care of this today, and I'll come back when I've got something to show you. There we go, I've just had to build some more snaps production. So I've got potato field over here. And then another distillery. I need to upgrade this small warehouse because it's backing up. There's too many people trying to unload, it's taking too long. So I need to now build up some timber. Once I hit 20 planks and 20 bricks, I'll be able to upgrade that and I won't have that issue anymore. So I just gotta sit and wait. I might even think about adding even more timber production. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add more timber production because this is becoming a bit slow and I need to speed it up. So we'll add more and another one. Spin that around. Fantastic, there we go. Because the buildings are within their zone, it's slowing production down a bit. Which is not a great thing. Now I've really ramped up the production over here on our timber. Which is good. So now I've been building up our timber quite nicely. So I can now upgrade this small warehouse. Which should now solve the problem. And it actually hasn't. Or maybe it has. We'll just have to sit back and watch. I might have to consider building another warehouse in the area. For the moment. I'll just keep my eye on that, and if I have to, I'll put one in. So everything's starting to look good. It's now just a matter of continuing to build more population. The competitor raised a settlement. So we'll build them out. We'll build them out. And them out. Beautiful. Look at that. This bustling town's really starting to take on now. Won't be long and we'll start our steel production, which is very, very close. But we need to make sure we have the workforce to be able to start the steel production because we're going to need a huge amount of people, a huge amount of people to be able to, to work in all the factories and such. So, And we're looking a bit low on clothes. So might have a bit of a fiddle and fix that up. So I'm having a look at our population. We have a total of 992 people living in our Pain village. Pickets, healthy, honest protest. If some... So we have 581 give or take farmers and 404 give or take workers. So we definitely do not have enough resources at the moment to accommodate I'm still that. so excited for us. So 
We're definitely gonna need to I build need people I can rely on. Another fishery. Bang, there we go. So that should keep that them happy with the fish. Now. How am I going for schnapps? Schnapps. Like a frog on a lily pad, I is. Plenty. We do have two because I built the second one before, yes. So Schnapps, we should be right for quite a while. Plus, it's a very early sort of. We earned this. Oh, we could give them a church. Done. There we go. That should really help with their needs. There we go. That church need is now building up, as you can see, which is great. We'll need to be building beer soon, which that will be fun. But that's worrying. These work clothes, I've got to. Now definitely start getting that in order. So what we'll do is we'll come over here and we need to build a sheep farm. We put our love into it. Nothing we haven't done before. And now we'll build over here. Bang. There we go. Which now that's going to put even more strain on this warehouse. So I think we're finally going to have to bite the bullet and build another warehouse. So we'll build it posing. Bang. There we go. Two warehouses in the same area. We'll see how that goes, because maybe I might actually move that one over here. So then they're feeding each other either side, but we'll see. And there we go. It's not kick Ooh. Silly aim. I've built it and there's no road. What I'll do is I'll put it here. Now it's time for us to start organizing the production of soap. So for soap, we're going to need so for one soap factory we're going to need yeah so we'll need two of these so we'll need two rendering works two pig farms and one soap factory so soap factory we will build that because it's an ugly eyesore we'll build that over with the rest of the ugly eyesores somewhere around here Just there to do us. We will need iron for this production though. So what we'll do is we'll blueprint all this to begin with. We're going to need two pigs. So flip that around and go one. Build that. In fact, we'll just construct it. And we'll go one, two, one, two, three. And we'll place down one more. And we'll go one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. So that's our pigs done. Now we'll need two rendering. So let's have a look at that. Very much looks like a factory. It's going to produce a bit of waste. It's a little though. So what we'll do is we'll place one there. One there. Done. And once again, we're going to need iron for that. So I think now we really need to start thinking about ramping up our population of our workers. So I want to finish off this section here with farmers. So let's get this going. So there we go. And now we've still got 32 timber, so we can start thinking about upgrading our building. So we'll just upgrade them here and there. And there we go. So now we've got 100 and... 
we got 516 workers, 166 spare. Man, we don't have time to do a quest for you. Do I look like an errant boy? So we're going to have to come up here. Whoops. Fix that up. There we go. We've built that. So we'll come up here. We've got the iron deposit. So we're going to build our iron mine right here. So let's build that. Iron mine is now built. Done. Now, we can't mine coal just yet, so we're going to have to build some kilns, which is, that's all right. So we're going to need... Look busy, people. Fifteen. So we'll need two kilns. Yeah. Two furnaces. And, ooh, about three steelworks. That will do the trick. So what we'll do is we'll build our kilns. Okay, we'll place one there. And we'll place the other one about here. And then we'll place a warehouse in this area. So, warehouses are over here. Place a warehouse on this corner. Done. So, we've got a warehouse feeding this section here. And we got the kilns. And we've still got a workforce to spare, which is good. Because now it's time to start thinking about the furnaces. Now, steel production is quite large. So we've got to really start thinking about how we want to incorporate this into this area. So, let's have a look at our furnaces, see? Put that around. So what I might do is I'll take this and move that over there, because that's not built yet. And we will place that one, two, three. So there's, well, we don't need three of those. So and then we've got these big boys. Right? So what I'll do is I'll go one, two, and three. Grab a road, fill that, fill that, fantastic. Next, I'll grab these little ones, pop them in here nice, just like that. Move that over. Now, just fill that gap with a bit of nothing for the minute. And there we have it. Build one of these, and now we've got workforce problem. So let's fix our workforce problem. Now, our population has grown once again. We now have 1,200 people living here, 702 farmers and 525 workers. The problem with that is our needs are starting to drop again. As you can see, we do, definitely do not have enough schnapps. Jeez, they love to drink. So, let's build some more schnapps. So we're going to put this in here. Once again, build their farmland. And build that one down there. Perfect. And now we're going to need a distillery. So where can I fit that in? I can fit that in right there. Bang. Perfect. So now, that should keep them out of trouble. Their clothes aren't quite up to scratch, are they? Maybe I might consider building one more. One more work clothes. Let me have a look. Do I need more work clothes? Yeah. 
We'll put more work clothes in. Just add that. And we'll go one, two, three. And then when we come over here, we can build one more of these. Great. Yeah. We fit a road in there. No, we can't. But I will put a road here just for aesthetics. But we definitely do not have enough workforce. So we need to really start getting that in order. Once their happiness rises, then I'll be able to start upgrading these, which will... The farms to workers, which will then drop the workforce of the farmers. And so I'll have to start digging into here. Now, I really would like for us to get this area... So, sorry to get iron production up and running to a point where we can then move to the North Island so then I can start building pro, um, oh, villages and such on the North out. Island. Because sooner or later we're going to put work docks, workforce docks, I can't remember the, exactly the name of them. And so then... The workers will be able to come over from the main island to work on here. So then this area here never has to get much bigger than what it already is. I can leave the actual residence like this. So. And they're still not happy about the work clothes. And yet. Ah. Peddlers say there's nowhere to take it. Because. We're too far away. Workforce shortage. It's because I got a chat and that's what happened. There we go. That should solve the problem. And I can start upgrading these. So I've turned off what little steel production I had for a moment, only because we need our workforce so we can actually start producing soap to raise the happiness of our workers our human rights. so their happiness can start going up. See? And when their happiness goes up, the population in every single home will go up. So at the moment, it's averaging around 17... 16, 17 of 45. But once I start upgrading, uh, sorry, once I start raising their happiness and their needs and such, that will grow. And so in the smaller area, we'll have a larger population, which will be fantastic. We won't have to continue building out wide and we can utilize what we already have. So Bear with me while I continue to raise our workforce and then we can get the steel production going and once we have steel production, we can start moving on. Bugger. So now, our population is at uh, 1,700. Well, over 1,700. We have 1,150 farmers and 630 workers. What does that mean? Well... Our needs are going to start dropping like again, so our population will start dropping. So we're going, we're going to need more fish. Bang. We're also going to need, how's our snaps? The snaps should be good. We've got three snaps. And we have three clothing, so that should be great. We've got enough sausage here. Yeah, we've got enough sausage. It was mostly due to the fact that I just put in this big chunk of farming residences here. So our population in the farmers grew quite rapidly. So everything in the worker tier it should be good. Yes, yeah, see? So that's all fantastic. And as you can see, we've climbed a little bit. Now we're starting to get 18 workers. And once we can start building schools, which should be quite soon in the next level. We'll then be able to grow that even further. And look at that, we've got 80 workforce. So soon we can start thinking about turning this on. I can construct these and then pause them for a minute. 
just so they're ready when I'm ready. There we go, look at that. Fantastic. And our timber production is just outstanding now. Like, look at this. 100 and we're, we're running it on slow at the moment. I should probably uh, run that a bit quick, but I thought I'd slow it down as I was chatting. And yeah, we're still, look at that. We've got heaps. So once we can get the needs in order, there shouldn't be anything to stop us now. Maybe what we'll do is we'll be a bit cheeky and use a bit of timber and... Wow, well, look at that. And you know what I just did, right? Now, the needs are going to start dropping because I'm going to need more things, so... But, I have to build it at some point. Might as well be now. And look at that. 14 already, and we're just running on normal speed. That's, that's climbing very, very quickly. That's good. We'll be in the new island in no time. So now the population of the farmers has grown, and guess what? They need more schnapps. A competitor raised a I've never seen people drink so much. I'm Australian and these people are putting, putting me to shame. I'm surprised there's not more workplace accidents because the amount of booze they're drinking, they must be drinking on the job, surely. Oh, that or they just hung over every single morning. There we go. More schnapps. And it's schnapps, of all things. Can't they wait for me to start producing beer? Beer would be a much nicer drop. Then again, don't I single anyone out? People out there might like schnapps. And for those who like schnapps, sorry, I didn't mean to insult. I'm confident it's ready to go. Ah, look, another newspaper. How are we going? That's looking very positive. Look, financial powerhouse, the promised land, and this isn't even our promised land. So, that's great. Really coming a long way now, and look at that. Yeah, we, we definitely are in the green quite good. We might be able to start buying seats in other people's islands soon, which once I start doing that, I'll be, even make, well, I'll be making even more money. So, now nah, we're definitely sitting in a very, very good place now. Here we go, going to be finishing the last few homes. There we go. That's all the farmer's residence built now. Now it's a matter of getting our needs Proper up. Job. Which they've got a real issue with the work clothes. I've actually had to just put another set of work clothes production in. And they're still not happy. So, just trying to see if there's something I'm missing. Maybe it's to do with this, so we'll upgrade you. Maybe I should... Not should, maybe I will. What I'll do is I'll put this here. And this here. Perfect. And I'll put another small warehouse just out here. For this area here to start shuffling off to, maybe. See if they actually start using it. That will look good once the train line's in. Imagine big big train comes flooring down here. station. I'd hate for this place to burn down. Wouldn't take much looking at it. It's mostly just timber. Look. I want to look thatch. after everyone. That's nice. I'm already making a load of money and yet she's still giving me some of hers. What will we need to upgrade this? That will be the next level. Our populations are definitely growing. I have an excess of a thousand farm workforce. That is, that's awesome. So now we need to start really aiming to build up the workforce, uh, the worker workforce, sorry. There you go. Now our work, worker workforce is starting to grow. We've got 213. 
but now their needs are starting to drop, so I'm going to take care of that. But now they have a school need, which is great. So what we'll do is we'll come across. Here's the school, and we'll plop it in there. It needs iron, so I think we're ready to start getting our iron working. So I'll turn that on. Turn that one on. And that is basically our entire workforce going on. Just those two machines there. Which is the furnace and the steel works. So we're going to need a, a hell of a lot more. Oh, I might be able to turn this one on. No. See? Taking a break. Like turn that one on and look at that. Straight into the red. So no. Pour, keep that paused. And now I have to start going around yeah, thinking this. about their needs. So oh, they're starting to level out, actually. So, mm, once again, the work clothes are an issue. But once we have a school, they're going to be quite happy. That will fill that need. How's their happiness? And yes, here we go. Booze. Beer, sorry. Beer. We need beer. So, that will be the next thing we start thinking about. The school is the more important part. Or is it? So now I've decided, yeah, beer will make them happy, so beer's important. So one beer, two beer. All right. Now we need to build nice fields. So here's the wheat fields for our beer. Cut down all these trees. Build that over there. And there we go. And now the other wheat field. We know fields. Done. Next, we're going to need one malt house. So where are you? And you can come over here. Can Will you fit? Yes, you will. Next, we're going to need a lot of hops. Three. Just like so. And what we'll do is we'll build it around... that next one like that finally the last one just like that and now two breweries so will they fit in here yes they will one and two done so that should now keep them happy. They'll be producing beer and schnapps. I'll upgrade this one. Done. And we're back to having a worker problem. Always with the worker problem. As you can see, off camera, I've been quite busy with the rapid rise of population. I've had to go in and quite thoroughly add different resources so as you can see i've built down here a little bit of everything so they've wanted obviously more schnapps um beer as you can see a lot of beers gone in now more bread uh, the only thing they didn't want more of was sausage which was good but everything else they needed a little bit more so as you can see we're really starting to fill out now so it's looking good and look at that our steel production is looking very good so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring our ship in Flag here ship ready for orders. it's moving quite slow Make a sterner stuff. Like... 
And what we'll do is we will load on some logs and we'll load on some iron and then we'll head off over to the new island and we'll settle. Off to the new island we go. Here we go, arriving at our new island. This will be our massive metropolis up north. So we'll bring her in. Right up. And anywhere here will do, I think. So we'll plop that down here. Bang! And there we go. We have now built Sessenberg. Attention for the admiral. And for the moment, I think I'll keep that name, Sassenberg, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Amazing, so. you know what to do with them all. So that's great. So, if everyone will stop talking over me, I think we've actually uh, hit our first goal that we set out to do this episode, which is very, very good. We've landed on the new island. Up here at Southernly. That's looking quite good. And so, I'm happy with that. There you go, it's telling me I've been playing for two hours. So on that note, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah.